Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm here to share a loaded bag that I created with a swap that I'm doing with Ursula and she is Fab Five Crafts here on YouTube. So we just decided to do a mystical unicorn loaded bag. She is a planner and she likes planning items so you'll see a lot of that in my bag. And the bag that I use is a gift bag that I hauled from Tuesday morning the other day. So this is what the front of my bag looks like get it all in frame and so I'll just start pulling from this front pocket so the first thing I have here on the front is just a paper clip with one of the little fuzzy balls on it and I had that from some Christmas embellishments from last year and then some of these little puff balls and some enamel dots that I made in my oven I also have one of those spring chipboard unicorn stickers from Target and just a little topper and the bag is one of the pretzel bags you can get from Walmart I also have some of these little bags and I shared this in a current projects video this is just a die and it has a little two from tag there on the front of a sack and this is another one I've also shared some little boxes unicorn boxes also in a current project video and I'll link that video below and then I did some um, little enamel dot little embellishments that she can use and the paper um, that the unicorns are from is the teenage dream and it was a recollections hot buy and the epoxy stickers the epoxy stickers are the spare parts that you can get from Hobby Lobby and all you do is just put your glue on there put it on top of the paper and then I just cut around and the glue that I use a lot of people use Mod Podge but I use this um, Nouveau Deluxe adhesive and it does dry pretty clear as you can see and I just cut around them so she can use those on some projects I also did some cutouts with a little heart paper clip this one says follow your heart feeling sunny there's a unicorn and then this one says yay with a little cat and these cutouts are from this funky fresh hot buy paper pad and that's also recollections that was one of the hot buys in this envelope here this is a um, white bag and I have this little bow on the front and that's a die and I also gave her some of these little bows also a die from my stash and I just put some of those Michael bling pieces in the center and then I gave her some of the bows that are on the front and it does have the longer piece on it I just cut it down to um, fit on the front of the bag also be gifting her this little pinwheel and I got that from the Target dollar spot a few months ago and then this bow bunny icon stamp and this is a planner stamp and I hauled that um, I want to say from um, Hobby Lobby when they had those bunch of orange stickers I just have a bow die that I got from my stash with a little um, bling bow and there's a little tab and it says focus on the good and that's one of the Tim Holtz words in this top pocket I'll be gifting her these are some of the the polka dot sticks are the candy hard sticks that you can get from um, Walmart or probably any baking area in a store and then there's some straws and I just have a little topper on there with another chipboard sticker I'll also be gifting her some of these little bottle clips and these are the ones that um, were at Walmart during the Valentine season I have some paint splatter paper with a wood chip and it says yes please and I use some um, crepe paper and just made a little flower with a gold butterfly I'll also be giving her this unicorn stamp has some pink and white fringe and then one of the bows that I got from Jacine who is um, sweet sweetie pie and scrapbooking these are some of those um, recollections milk cartons that I found in Tuesday morning so I'll be giving her some pink ones and some blue ones I have some of those puffy hearts from Target and then this little topper here and there's a unicorn and it says sweet friendships refresh the soul there's a little tab and there's a little resin piece that I got from my crafty pen pal Vanessa there's some wood hearts and then I just did some fringe with my um, friend scissors and they look like that that I make um, the tassels with and then there's some little wood hearts and then on the back that's the fringe just wrapped around and it says milk cartons so she would know what it is without having to open it and I just made that on my labeler in here I just given her some needle nose bottles and these are also some flowers I got from JC with a little topper and some fringe then there's some of the petals and blooms um, paper studio these are the um, planner stickers and this little stamped image here says 
live with passion laugh out loud love deeply and i just put that on there to cover up the price in this little bag i've shared some of these unicorn toppers and these were the ones shared by tony who is craft perch here on youtube I cut these out on my Silhouette Cameo. There's a little bow from my stash. This little polka dot bag comes from the Dollar Tree and there's some toppers inside of here. I'll also be giving her this Dilutions sticker set. There's 24 sheets, there's 427 stickers in here and I put one of the little unicorn toppers where it would hang in the store. I'll be gifting her some rosettes and these are made with the Tim Holtz die. I just have some sequins floating around in there. I've also included in this white bag some paint splatter paper that I recently created. This one is pink, yellow, and blue, and this one is purple, yellow, and blue. It's on a 110 pound cardstock, which is something for her to use. I've also included like a little doodad bag, just some stuff for her to use, some embellishments. I have another chipboard um, rainbow sticker and some of the paint splatter paper. I've gifted her some. These are unicorn adhesive band-aids and I found these at the Target dollar spot. There's also this little box here and I got this in some in a swap. I have some wooden um, little hearts floating around in there and a little um, label with the unicorn sticker and it says give it all you got with a little wooden heart and there's a starburst with the rainbow and inside of here I just have some unicorn erasers that I got from the Dollar Tree. I've also included some of these little magnets and these also came from the Dollar Tree and some of the sayings are be original, be happy, and perfectly imperfect and that's what they look on the back. And then I just used some Tim Holtz stickers and some paint splatter paper and it says in embark, imagine every day and on the back it says discover. And then the last thing that I've included in this loaded bag is this little pocket here and I created this from a single sheet from that same funky fresh paper pad and it's just a picture of a unicorn and a rainbow and I just folded it in half and glued the bottom and then I'm going to also seal it on the top maybe put some fringe or something on it but in here I've included a traveler's notebook for her and it's the unicorn theme one and it says stay magical so I'll be including this in this loaded bag for her as well and this is what my bag looks like this is the gift bag that I hauled from Tuesday morning. This was the gift um, tag, the two from on it. I just put some little pearls on their cheeks. This little star came from a, um, this is a party pack of die cuts that I got from Hobby Lobby. And that's where the star came from. And I just punched out a heart. There's an arrow there and I just put some bling pieces on there. These clouds also came from that birthday pack. And then this unicorn came from one of those wall decals you can get from the Dollar Tree. I just put it on some cardstock and cut it out using my brother's scan and cut. And then I have that little crown that I got in a um, little pack from Hobby Lobby. There's a happiness I just cut out from a um, paper pad. And then the star also came from the birthday pack. This little glitter piece is from a Maggie Holmes ephemera set that I have. And I put a bling piece there. There's another little heart I have right there. And that's just to cover the holes in the top of the bag. This is what the back looks like. I didn't do anything to it other than put the hearts to cover the holes. And then on the inside, there's also more little punched out hearts to cover the holes. And this pink shred is really glittery. That's the um, Easter shred that came from the Dollar Tree. The other thing that I'll be giving her is one of these um, full page little pocket things that I've been doing lately. This um, one says, I can't even, and this comes from the Funky Fresh paper pad as well. All I did was adhere the paper on all four sides and use my pink and shears to cut around. And then I have this little unicorn hanging charm on the side and I also got that from Hobby Lobby. And that's what the back says. It says the same thing on both sides. And that's all I have to share for my swap with Ursula who is Fab Five Crafts here on YouTube. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. I will also link the videos that I have for each of the projects that I've created if I have created a video. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.